welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight, we're going to talk about a huge issue, illegal immigration and how it's going to affect black people in the near future. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have opened the borders. You have seen millions of illegals come into this country. And why are they letting illegals into this country? Is it that they want a new voting block? Or do they want to displace black people as a voting block? Black people have to understand and they must think about the future. When you get millions of people coming into a country and they come mostly from Hispanic countries. And if you know anything about Hispanic countries, they will stick with their own. And for all those black politicians out there who talk about this black and brown relationship, there is none. Because the power dynamic has switched to the Hispanic community. They are the second biggest minority in the country. And with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the Democrats openly letting them in, they are day by day taking any power in politics away from black people. You will see major cities such as Atlanta, Memphis, Jacksonville, Birmingham, with those Hispanics coming into your cities, they will get more political power. And one thing about Hispanics, they're Catholic and they have children. So once enclaves that used to be black will turn Hispanic. See, black people are the only people that never think of their own interests when it comes to politics. Black people should be the number one people out here against illegal immigration. Dr. King was against it. Coretta Scott King was against it. You got these dumb Negro politicians who are willing to throw you under the bus for their own political power. You got people coming into your community they're getting a free ride. And I'm talking about they're getting Section 8, welfare, WIC, any other thing that they can think of. Setting up in your community, taking up more space in public schools. So that means when millions of these illegals and their children come in, your taxpayer dollars in your city has to pay for their education. So that means less money spent on your children. But we have politicians out here who support letting millions of Hispanics invade inner city communities. Biden and Kamala Harris' job and Mayorkas over DHS' job is to protect the borders of this country, not to open it up to every poor person across the world. Now, I can understand them coming because I know the conditions in which they're coming from. But we as black people, ADOS, FBA, we have to think about ourselves. Here's an administration that tells us every day that they don't have money for reparations, but they got money for millions of illegal aliens to come here because they're not coming here and not getting anything. 
they come in here and they get in the works. They're taken care of by Catholic charities. They're put on the system. They're giving free housing, welfare, food stamps, whatever else you can think of. While you're in the same inner city working and suffering. But these same liberals who in Washington, D.C., those same politicians who want open borders, and you may not like him, Governor DeSantis sent some of these people that they were so gladly let in. And he said, why don't you let them live in your neighborhood? When he sent them up to Martha Vineyard, and you see how quickly your fellow Democrats faces turn. See, it's okay for the illegals to come in and live amongst black people in the inner city. But your upper class boule drinking, wine drinking, Democrat liberals who tell you what to do, they don't want them in their neighborhood. Oh, we are, uh, unless you come to clean their house and cut their grass. You see the hypocrisy of the Democrat Party? You see the hypocrisy of those who's supposed to lead you? But it seems like basically the black community will receive nothing. You have received nothing but a bunch of damn holidays. These people are being rewarded for doing something illegal. Then they got the audacity to send them into your neighborhood. So eventually they'll take over your neighborhood because it'll be more of them than you. Then they will have the political power to elect a representative or maybe even a mayor or senator or governor. You can't trust the Democrat Party because they don't care about you. They care about numbers. They care about the future. And they don't see black people as nowhere being part of the future. This is disgusting. And no one, no one that represents black people so-called from the NAACP, Urban League, CBC, or whatever else it is, are saying anything to stop this illegal immigration. You can already see it in certain jobs that they quit hiring people. Walmart, Target, they're placing these illegals or some legals and they're replacing black people. You are being replaced and you don't even know it. And you applauding it. But it's going to, when it's over, it's over. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. Also, share this video.